If a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, then the other two sides of the triangle are cut in the same ratio. This is the basic proportionality theorem for triangles, and we'll be proving it in today's Wrath of Math lesson. This is a viewer requested video. I always appreciate those viewer requests, so be sure to leave yours down in the comments. So let's make sure we're clear about what this theorem is saying. It's saying we've got a triangle. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle, so here's our parallel line DE, it's drawn parallel to the side BC, so we'll write that here, DE is parallel to BC. This is given. If we have this situation such that the segment DE intersects the other two sides of the triangle in two distinct points, in other words, DE doesn't look like this, then it must be the case that this parallel line, DE, cuts these two sides of the triangle in the same ratio, so that the ratio of AD to DB is equal to the ratio of AE to EC. So we're given that DE is parallel to BC, it intersects these two sides of the triangle in two distinct points, D and E. With all that, we want to prove this equality. One way to arrive at an equality between ratios of sides of triangles is to look at the ratios of the areas of congruent triangles. And that's the approach we're going to take in this proof. Remember that this is what we want to show. I'm just going to shrink this and put it off to the side so we can keep our goal in mind. Now let's get to the proof and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to try to present the proof in a way that kind of suggests how you might have come up with it on your own. We know that since DB and EC are in the ratios that we want to show are equal, it might be useful to have some triangles that have DB and EC as side lengths, which currently we don't. DB is just a piece of this whole side of our triangle, and EC is just a piece of this whole side. To start considering a triangle that has DB as a side length, we might construct a segment joining B to E. Then we've got this triangle DEB that has DB as a side length. Similarly, to consider a triangle that has EC as a side length, we might construct a segment from C to D, and now we've got this triangle EDC. Then, is there any useful relationship between these two triangles? As it turns out, there is. The area of triangle DEB that's this one here, actually must be equal to the area of triangle EDC. That's this one here. And how do we know that's the case? Well, notice that both DEB and EDC, we can consider them to have the same base, the base being this line DE. But the third vertex of these triangles is on this line parallel to DE, the line BC. So these are two triangles that have the same base and are between the same parallels. Such triangles must have the same area, because remember that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Certainly the base of the two triangles is the same, because it's the same line segment, DE. But we also know the height of the two triangles with this base also have to be the same, because the triangles are between the same parallels and parallels are everywhere equidistant. So for example, the height of triangle DEB, if we just extend its base a little bit, the height of the triangle might look something like that. And similarly for triangle EDC, if we extend its base a little bit, its height might look something like that. So the height of both triangles is just the distance between the same set of parallel lines. Since parallel lines are everywhere equidistant, these triangles have both the same base and the same height. Thus, they have the same areas. All right, so that's good to know, and that fact is going to come in handy later in the proof. I'll just set it down here for now. But we also know, looking at what we want to prove, that we need to get the line segment AD and AE involved. In order to do that, we might consider the triangle AED. 
And then our game plan might be to look at the ratio of the areas of DEB divided by AED and compare that to the ratio of the area of ECD over AED. All right, now let's go into some more detail. What is the area of triangle AED, this triangle right here? Well, certainly it's one half times the base times the height. Suppose we choose AD as the base of our triangle. Then what is the height of the triangle? Well, it's the perpendicular distance from the line containing the base to the opposite vertex. So that height might look something like this, and suppose it intersects this side of the triangle AD at this point we'll call P. Then we would write the area of triangle AED as one half times the base AD multiplied by the height, which in this case is this line segment EP. Now remember, we want to look at a ratio of AD to the side DB. So how could we relate the area of this triangle to the area of this triangle? Well, if we chose DB to be the base of our triangle DEB, then this segment EP would also be the height of that triangle DEB because this would be the line containing the base of our triangle and the height is the distance from that line to the opposite vertex, which is this segment EP. So with that in mind, we could write the area of our triangle DEB as one half multiplied by db, which is what we're selecting as the base, multiplied by the height, which is ep. All right, now this is looking pretty good. Let's consider the ratio of the areas of these two triangles. So what do we get if we divide these two areas? Well, we have one half times ad times ep, that's the area of triangle AED, and that's getting divided by one half times DB times EP. Then of course, there's some cancellation here. One half over one half is one, EP over EP is one, and we're just left with the ratio of AD to DB. All right, so feels like we are getting warmer. Now, the idea for the rest of the proof is to do what we just did, but with triangle EDC. Then we'll get a similar ratio, and we'll know that the two ratios we have are equal because of this fact we talked about earlier. So let's go through that last step and make sure it's all clear. I'm going to shrink all of this so we have room to do the same sort of thing again, and I'll set it right off here in the top right. I'll also change its color so that it doesn't blend in with the rest of our work quite as much. Let's make it a light purple. All right, now in the last step, we want to get the segment AE and EC involved. So now, instead of letting AD be the base of triangle AED, let's consider AE to be the base of the triangle. If we let AE be the base of the triangle, then what is the area of triangle AED? Well, it's one half multiplied by the base, which is AE, multiplied by the height. Similar to before, the height of triangle AED is the distance from the line containing the base to the opposite vertex, which will look something like that. And suppose this altitude intersects the base of the triangle, at this point we'll call Q. So then the area is one half times AE times that altitude we just drew, DQ. Now proceeding as the same way we did before, we'll consider the area of triangle EDC. What is that area? Well, we wanna get the segment EC involved, so we'll let that be the base. So the area is one half times the base EC multiplied by the height. And in the same way that when we let DB be the base of this triangle, EP was its height. If we let EC be the base of this triangle, DQ is its height. And again, that's because the height of the triangle is the distance from the line containing the base to the opposite vertex, and that is the segment DQ. So the area is one half EC DQ. Beautiful. Now again, we can consider the ratio of these two areas. So there's the ratio of the two areas, and again we've got cancellation. One half over one half, DQ over DQ, and we are left with exactly what we want, AE over EC. All right, so let me shrink this down and we will finish the proof. 
So here are the two significant pieces of work we just did. We showed that this ratio of triangle areas is equal to this, and this ratio of triangle areas is equal to this. Now, if these ratios are equal, we'll be done. That's what we want to prove. So can we be sure that these ratios are equal? And the answer is yes, we absolutely can. So I just copy and pasted those two area ratios, and we certainly know these are equal. How do we know? Well, they have the same numerator, the area of triangle AED, and we know their denominators are equal because of what we talked about at the beginning of the proof. The area of triangle EDC is the same as the area of triangle DEB. Thus, by substitution, we know that the ratio of AD to DB must be equal to the ratio of AE to EC. One more time, what we did was show that the ratio of the areas of these two triangles is equal to AD over DB. Then we show that the ratio of the areas of these two triangles is equal to AE over EC. And then we know that these two ratios must be the same because they have equal numerators and equal denominators. And thus we have that the ratio of AD to DB, the ratio of this segment to this segment, is equal to the ratio of AE to EC, the ratio of this segment to this segment. And thus our parallel line DE has cut these two sides of the triangle in the same ratio. Beautiful. And that's the proof of the basic proportionality theorem. So I hope this video helped you understand the proof. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Links to his music in the description. Hi.